Samuel Johnson once said, when two Englishmen meet, their first talk is of the weather. So maybe this is how I'll start. You know those days where the sky is persistently covered in clouds? The weather forecast predicted sunshine, high temperature, low wind speed. The perfect day. My perfect day. But I suppose sometimes you can't trust the weather forecast. Early on today, apparently, a woman rang the BBC and she said she heard that there was a hurricane on the way. You don't know whether it'll brighten up later. You don't know whether it'll rain. You don't even know what clothes to wear. You just have to look up to the clouds and wait for the weather to make up its mind. Because you can't control it. Have you ever felt the heavy thunderclouds laying low in the sky? Oppressing and crushing the air around you and you wish you could push them away and carry on with your day. You know those days when you needed the sun and were given the rain? It's one of those days. And then, typically, it rains so much and you'll think you'll never see the sun again. You can't tell it to stop. The rain comes whether you like it or not, whether it fits in with your day or not. It doesn't care whether you get wet or not. I must remember, I did not ask for the rain. I did not make it rain. I cannot stop the rain. I cannot control the weather. I cannot control this. You could always use an umbrella to protect yourself. If you're clever enough to have one with you. But while umbrellas may help deflect the heavier showers... They are little use against the persistent, heavy fog. And the fog is so thick you can't see two steps ahead. You dread to think what you can't see behind you. You can't see your journey or your path. You're blinded, lost, frozen in fear of what may be approaching. And that's just something you have to deal with for the next few days, but soon it will fade. It has to fade. The sun eventually shines. And it's lovely. It's warm and relaxing and... And it burns. My skin not used to its power, its intensity. I long for the rain to cool down my blistered skin. I wish for the sun, and now I long for the rain. Have you ever had a day when you needed it to rain? It's too hot to function, too humid, the air too thick. (laughs) A breeze would be nice. And then the wind changes, and it's far too cold. This wind, it's destructive. It pushes one way and then the other. It needs to go somewhere, but it has no idea where. I long for that moment of stillness. A moment to think. A calm moment long enough for me to pick up the pieces and brace myself for round two. I long for shelter from the unpredictable weather. I long for control. Have you ever felt the storm but no one has believed you? I can feel it closing in, but no one believes me. No one understands. For them, they have sunshine. It it feels like there's a break in the cloud. But it also makes the surrounding area seem a little darker. I tell myself, however much it rains, however dark the clouds, however cold, however unstable, 
however little I can see. The sun will shine just the way I want it. One day. <laughs>